Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Victory is ours! Not even worth my time. So, you've chosen to trust a pirate? Not for a second. But if you're prepared to lend us the use of your ship and crew until we reach the capital, we'll help you. I'll agree to those terms. But there's something I should tell you first. I bring ill fortune to all those around me. The Reaper's Curse. I could flip this coin a thousand times and still land on tails. Trying to get through the fort cost the lives of five good sailors. If you join up with me, I can't guarantee your safety. Why would you go out of your way to warn us? Even demons don't want to meet an unfair death, right? If you still want to come with me, just know the risks. Works for me. I land on tails, I'll flip it to heads on my own. Your name? Velvet. This is number two. Hmm. I'm Rokuro. A pleasure. Aizen. You've got a plan of attack, I'm sure. Let's hear it. To put it bluntly, Vortigern is impregnable. It won't fall to an attack whether by sea or by land. So, no plan? Wait, what about both at once? Exactly. First, we send in the Von Eltia to draw their fleet out of the Narrows. Then we slip inside and open the Seagate ourselves. The Von Eltia will then break away, and rush back into the channel. We'll climb aboard and push through. One slip and we're all as good as dead. Then don't slip and we're not dead. <sighs> Walking with the Reaper, huh? The plan is already in motion. Let's move. 
This cave leads to the fortress. these vines. They're too tangled to cut through. I'm carrying some flint. Just burn through it. Do you really think this is a good place for us to start a fire? Normally, no. But we're also demons and Malachim. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, we're not exactly normal ourselves. The kid's awfully quiet. You think maybe there's something wrong with him? Number two's always that way. Stop that. Calling him by a number is cruel. What's Rokuro mean? Well, son number six, technically. Same thing then? Not even remotely! Uh... You all right, kid? Why didn't you say something? If Aizen hadn't noticed in time, you'd be dead! Because you ordered me to keep my mouth shut. That's not what I meant! Why? 
Why would you do that? Whoa, take it easy, Velvet. Let me guess, kid. You were bound by an exorcist? Ah, I thought as much. The boy's will has been sealed away. Malachim have individual personalities, just like humans. But exorcists have developed methods to seal those personalities away, so they can use Malachim as uncomplaining tools. Will he always be like this? Can't say. I've never seen one escape the exorcist before. <sighs> Listen, kid. If you're ever in trouble, speak up. You said exorcists bind Malachim's free will. Yeah. We've lived in this land a long time, and we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, were able to perceive our existence. But the advent changed that. Now Malachim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient tools. Humans praise Arturius for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons, but Malachim aren't mere objects. Malachim aren't things? They are. Huh? As far as Artorius is concerned, Malachim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. And that's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. Come on, really? Oh, 
Turtles! Turtles! Are you a turtle demon or something? No, no, you got it all wrong. I'm the White Turtles. Sorry about spooking you, Zol. If you're not a demon, then perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope, I'm just a plain old Turtles. Nothing more and nothing less. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about me, but for now, I'd appreciate it if you could hold off on them. Uh, right. Sure, if you insist. Much obliged. The Turtles are traveling merchants of considerable savvy. Their services could be quite useful for members of the underworld like us. You don't say. Sounds handy. You betcha! And at Old White Turtle Shop, we believe the customer's smile is what matters most. That being said, this being where it is, my prices unfortunately might be a little on the high... Oh no, you're going to give us a bargain. I'd love to do that, Zs. But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the situation. Um, I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. Like this. <laughs> much obliged! You sure know how to drive a hard bargain, Velvet. What else was I supposed to do? Would you rather I devoured him and swiped all his stuff? You're more frightening than the Reaper. Still, that Turtles was an interesting guy. It's a big world, kid. A lot of strange folks out there. So I'm discovering. <laughs> he probably took one look at us and thought the very same thing. Hmm. A demon, a Moloch, and a Reaper. We've got it all. Ain't that the truth? What are turtles, anyway? Some sort of turtle men. Yeah, but what are they? They are what they are. All you need to know is that they're good at peddling things. They're probably just called turtles because they wear all those sea turtle shells on their backs. After all, Rokuro means sixth son, and that's what I am. I was Teresa's second tethered Malachim, so I was number two. That's a title, not a name. Huh? Would someone just give the kid a name already? A name? For me? <sighs>
I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. Looks like Eifried's first mate has a strange superstition. It's just a habit. Only comes up tails anyway. What land did that coin come from? I've never seen a coin with a goddess on one side and the reaper on the other. Strictly speaking, that's not the reaper on the back. It's an image of the demon king, Daos. Where have I heard that name before? Martell the goddess, and Daos the demon king. The Book of Ragnarok, Chapter 765. The Battle of Idrisil. Whoa, you're awfully well read. The coin was dug up from some ancient ruins in another land. They called the place Carlin long ago. It's made from soft, ordinary gold, but they had some process to harden the metal and make it resistant to scratches. Wow, that's a rather rare find then. Do you like to read books? Teresa's chamber was full of them, so I spent a lot of time reading. Ragnarok is a record of battles from the Age of Myth. I've read it several times now. Anyway, coins like that are hard to come by. Where did you get it? It's a long story. Never mind then. So, were you deciding something with that coin toss? Not anything I can talk about yet. Oh, I'm sorry for prying. There's no guard. Do we just go in? Wait. This isn't what I expected. There's a barrier over it? They changed the security. You weren't kidding, were you? That scorpion and this barrier? All part of your curse. You'll be lucky if that's the worst of it. A direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Down the cliff, there should be an entrance used during the fortress's construction. We'll check that. You did your research. I had to. 